Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Mom and Me. So if you're new to my video to my channel today, hi my name is Dia and I do videos on cleaning routines, tips, organizational videos, uh, baby and toddler meal ideas, mommy vlogs and if you're interested in such content, uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. So today I am going to give you a tour of my organized kitchen. Honestly, ever since I have moved into this house, I think that was back in 2015, I've either been pregnant or I have uh, been a full-time care of two babies. I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old. So it, I never really got around organizing my whole house and especially the kitchen, pantry and all of these areas. But I actually took things in my hands a couple of weeks ago and I thought, okay, let me do a massive declutter and organization exercise. And here I am today filming this video and I'm so excited. So I think my number one tip is like, if you have a big job, break it down into small pieces. And that's exactly what I did. I broke down this uh, kitchen organization into small bits and pieces and I organized one drawer or one cabinet every couple of days. And it wasn't a difficult job at all, trust me. If you break it down, it just becomes easy. You know, you have to spend only 10, 15 minutes a day. And slowly and gradually, yeah, it did took me like a few weeks, but uh, my entire kitchen is now organized. So without any further ado, let's just jump into it and let me show you my entire kitchen. And before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And oh yes, one other thing, the comment section on my channel has been disabled temporarily by YouTube. That's something that YouTube is working on, but I don't know when it ha uh, the comment section will be enabled again. So if you want to get in touch with me after this video, head over to my community section and I will, um, for, e for every video that I uh, upload, I actually um, post the same, uh, I create a community post of that video where you can leave your comments there. So if you really want to get into touch with me, watch this video give it a big thumbs up and go to my community tab to leave your comments there i'll be waiting for your comments so let's get started so friends let me start my kitchen tour by giving you an overview of my kitchen so this is my pantry i have overhead cabinets on this side and these bottom cabinets below the countertop and also under the island we have a dedicated cabinet for microwave this allows me to free up valuable workspace on my countertop so today it's going to be all about getting into those cabinets, drawers and show you how have I organized my kitchen and how it all functions for me. Let me start by showing you my countertop organization first. So this is where the countertop begins and I have a paper roll and a knife block set here. Next to this is the kitchen sink and its essentials like dish liquid, sponge etc. I have this sponge holder which I think looks very cute and keep dish sponge organized. I also have a dish rack here which sits here all the time to put big utensils like pressure cooker, nonstick pans etc. that I like to wash with my hands immediately after I've used them. I follow clean as you go method to keep my kitchen clean and nicely organized. I have a separate video on this and I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below in case you're interested. Now this is my workstation where all the chopping, kneading the dough, making the rotis happen. Next to this obviously is the gas cooktop. I have kept a piece of glass here next to the cooktop on which I keep oil, ghee, salt, lighter, spoon stand etc. This area gets very greasy due to the frequent use of oil and ghee and also due to the splatters from the cooking. So having a glass piece underneath makes it really easy to clean. Just wipe and go. In case you are wondering the edges of this glass are smooth so no hazard. Now let's jump right into the cabinets above the countertop. So in this first cabinet above the sink, I have my mixer grinder, hand mixer, chopper, etc. The top shelf has full height and I can store here all my appliances. I have also put some bottles here. In this next cabinet, I have kept toaster, sandwich maker and the base of my mixer grinder. I have kept toaster and sandwich maker neatly tucked away here but very accessible as well as I use these two appliances on daily basis. I also store glass and kids water bottles here. 
The cabinet next to this has all my glassware and serving platters which I use when guests arrive. I do not have a lot of these. However, whenever I buy new, I like to donate or purge old ones so that I do not clutter my kitchen with too much stuff. Right now, I am happy with what I have. In this next cabinet, I store all my kids' medicines that I use regularly like Nurofen, Panadol, etc. for general cough and cold. I know probably this is not the best place to keep medicines because it's very close to my cooktop. But at least it's not reachable uh, for my kids because they like to open all the drawers underneath. And in future, I will definitely change this because I'm not 100% happy with this spot. But right now, this is what works for me. The next cabinet has chimney fittings in it so nothing interesting so let's move to the last cabinet uh, from the overhead cabinets now this cabinet is pretty much empty and it holds some random stuff like achar uh, some kids stuff etc so let's move on to all the drawers uh, and cabinets underneath the countertop Let's start with the under sink cabinet. On top shelf, I keep all my microfiber cloths in this wire basket. Next to this, I keep kitchen towels. I also keep tissues here as this drawer is easy to access for my three year old. She grabs one from here every time she needs it. So this is very convenient for her. I also keep extra stock of kitchen paper roll here. And on the bottom shelf, I have this drawer where I keep dish taps, sponges, steel wool and freezer bags, etc. Here, I also have extra stock of tissue boxes. I keep all my cleaning supplies in this caddy that I use on regular basis and the extra stock in a container at the back next to this cabinet is my dish drawer so again nothing exciting so let's move on to the next cabinet on top here i have chakla balin or the ruling pin and the board this little one is dhyani's uh, she loves to uh, make rotis on it i store onions and potatoes in this wire basket and garlic in this plastic container i store atta in these two containers on the other side i have stored ghee i have an empty ghee jar at the back here which i have saved as i just thought it's a really nice five liter jar why throw it, it i can just use it to store like snacks like fryams mamra etc for kids like you know that is very typical of indian that not throw uh, a lot of stuff and retain but though i'm trying to change on that habit but this one i've definitely kept because i think this could be really useful it's a five liter jar guys now in the cabinet next to it i just keep very basic stuff like mortar and pestle um oil and few cans of soft drinks Next to this is the oven and next to the oven I have this pull out cabinet which generally people use very efficiently by storing a lot of spices and organizing this entire um, pull out cabinet very neatly but that didn't work for me because I like to see my spices I don't um, it's not very convenient to keep all spices here for me so what I instead did was i just took out the bottom two wire baskets or the shelves from here and one i have used to store my potatoes and onions and second one was the one in my under sink cabinet to put all the microfiber cloths and here i only keep my tea making essentials like tea sugar and chai masala and that's it and because i took the bottom two shelves out it created a lot of space underneath so how i use that um, is by storing the wheat flour and rice packages here so i think that is again um, a good utilization of the space but that's exactly what works for me so now coming to the storage under the island, I have these drawers at both ends of the island. The first drawer is used to keep all cooking spoons and my new Aka guest cutlery. On this side, I have more spoons, mainly wooden ones. This is extendable spoon organizer and it fits any drawer size. And also it has a rubber grip base, which is uh, great. I store all my daily use cutlery actually in the drawers next to the under sink cabinet. I actually forgot to show you this entire row of drawers. I'll show you now. So this drawer also has my multivitamins and supplements that we take on daily basis. I'm a very out of sight, out of mind kind of person. So I keep them here as I do not like to see them on my countertop. 
the drawer underneath is one of my favorite one it holds all cups but what's interesting is i have used an anti skid liner at the bottom and used two drawer divider to neatly organize all the cups that we have i think this is one of the areas which is very simple but still it looks very organized very neatly organized next two drawers are pretty much empty as i have uh, not a lot of stuff to store there but i think um, i am going to invest a little bit in tupperware uh, which are same shapes and size and i think that's what i will use these for so coming back to the drawers um, of underneath the island this middle drawer holds all crockery bowls dishes plates etc everything in this drawer is microwave safe and it's conveniently located near the microwave for the ease of use so that's again uh, another tip that uh, store things where they are most nearest to reach the last drawer has all my stainless steel plates and bowls. I have used these corner organizers to keep all plates and bowls nicely tucked in. This drawer used to get very disorganized and looked messy, but after using these organizers, it is always neat. The cabinet next to these drawers has all my pressure cookers and pans. I have used shelf organizers to maximize the use of vertical space available. Also using a corner shelf organizer to keep all pans in place. Every kitchen has a junk drawer or a cabinet and this one is mine. The top shelf is still okay. It holds all kitchen utensils but bottom one has all random stuff. I have though tried to be a little organized by using these three compartment organizers to keep those small items that makes uh, an area look very cluttered. Uh, but this is how it looks. Next cabinet holds idli and dhokla cooker, all my stainless steel parrots that we used to need the door on the top and on the bottom I have this aluminium vessel that I only used to make dal dhokli. This also has a chopper and I think it's called kasa tea set so which we don't use but um, that's what's sitting here. Now coming to the other end of the island, I'll show you what I have in these three drawers. As this is closest to the cooktop, I store our traditional masala dabbas and all the spices that comes in packages like MDH, Everest, etc. They come, they usually come in 100 grams packing and here I have used 120 grams glass jars with tin lids to store them. I wrote the name of the spice using a black permanent marker which can easily be removed using a nail polish remover. I also have this dollar store small container here where I keep a pen and a scribble pad to jot down the list of groceries that I'm running low on. Lastly, I have this wire basket where I usually keep uh, oven mitt, my apron and roti making cloths. In this next drawer, I have used these three clear containers to keep graters, pizza cutters, pizza spoons, tea strainers, soup strainers, etc. I have placed this cheese knife at end so that these shelves don't move. There was extra space available on this end so I placed these two organizers here to stop these containers, the clear containers from moving. Also, I have placed a red shelf liner at the bottom to add color to this drawer as without these liners, these clear containers look very odd. One thing I want to mention here is that all of this stuff I used to keep uh, along with my cutlery in the extendable spoon organizer but it just that drawer just went out of control which is why I had to move a lot of stuff on this side and I think if this thing happens to you as well if you have extendable cutlery organizer and if you think it is gone out of control Think about it. Think about uh, moving some of the stuff to another drawer or a cabinet. I think that will make uh, things more organized. In last drawer, I have colanders, overdoor hanging bins and Tupperware. It's always space saver to organize round things over round and square things over square. If you try and organize square jars on a lazy Susan, it will waste a lot of space. So think about that. Now we are at the last part of my kitchen tour which is my pantry. Actually I have a separate video on how have I organized my pantry step by step. I'll link it in the description box if you're interested. But still I will show you a few areas that I think um, few must-haves for pantry organizing 
organization. So the first one being this airtight click jars to store all your lentils and flowers. I think these are must have in your pantry. The second one is this three tier shelf to store all spices. Now this is so good because you can see all your spices just from where you are standing and you can see everything that you have. So that's a must have as well. And the third one is these big containers. And you know what? The stuff that is difficult to organize actually should be get dumped into these containers like snacks, foods, excess grocery, which you haven't yet got the time to organize and they haven't gone to the designated um, jar or the container. So these con big uh, dumping containers are also must have. It makes your pantry looks neat. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked my organized kitchen tour. If yes, please, please, please head over to my community section and leave a comment there and let me know what you think about my kitchen. Yeah, I really wait for your comments. I know there are not a lot coming these days because this is like an additional step that you have to go to my community and you have to comment there. But please guys, get in touch and let's get this mom and me family reach 100k soon. We are close, but by end of the year that's my aim so let's get there and bye for now